How can we model two-phase flow in a porous medium? Well, it's always good to start with a relatively easy case. So that is what we will do here. One-dimensional and immiscible flow. You can think, for example, of the flow of oil and water. In this video, you will learn how we can model such a situation with only one partial differential equation. So let us take a look. So what's our situation? We have some porous medium. We have our grains over here. And then we are, uh, and initially our porous medium is completely filled with oil. Then from here we are injecting pure water. So uh, what do we have? We have some new injection, some injection velocity given. Uh, at x equals zero we are injecting. So your uh, sa water saturation will be about one minus SOR. So the SOR is over here. We we'll always have some residual oil saturation. And uh, very far away. We are completely full, filled with oil, uh, apart from this water which is always there at conate water saturation. So that's kind of the setup. Now, uh, I'm, uh, I draw, drew it in the picture like this, but of course the water will be more around uh, the, the grains. It's a, a wetting and the oil will be a bit more in between. But it's very difficult to make a figure like that. So here I just drew, drew it like this. Uh, and we have, we'll have some transition region here where water saturation will decay from uh, 1 minus SOR to SWC in some way. Uh, we don't know w which way at the moment, but it will decay from up to down in some functional way, as a function of x and time. Now, how are we going to model this? Well, first of all, we know that the sum of the saturations has to be equal to 1, the sum of the volume fractions. Then, second of Oh, uh, second, we have the mass balances. We have the volumetric flow of water, which gives us the uh, mass balance for the water. And we have the volumetric uh, flow of the oil, which gives us the mass balance of the oil. Furthermore, we will use uh, Darcy's law. So, a uh, water velocity is given by its mobility adapts its pressure gradient. And the oil velocity, so the volumetric velocity of the oil phase, is given by its mobility times the um, uh, oil pressure gradient. And furthermore, we'll use, we'll use capillary pressure to model the difference between the oil and water phase. Now, if we add equations 1 and 2, so what do we get? Uh, we get this term plus this term over here, and this term plus this term over there. Now, we know that uh, SW plus S oil equals 1 is constant. We use that. So this term drops out. Uh, so the DDX of U water plus U oil is 0. So that means that U water plus uh, U oil is constant. So your total velocity, U wa water plus U oil, is constant. And we know over here it's equal to the injection velocity. So it has to be equal to the injection velocity everywhere. So that's nice. We know already our total velocity, which means that now we know our uh, velocities uh, in terms of saturations. Now we use uh, 3 and 4. We have UW. And we have seen before that you can eliminate uh, the um, uh, pressures and then rewrite it into uh, in terms of fractional flow, F2 times U total, and minus some capillary diffusion coefficient, where this capillary diffusion coefficient contains lambda W, lambda oil, and dpcdsw times dsw dx. If you use uh, these two equations, we used them in a previous video to do that. And now, uh, once you have your W over here, you can plug it in over there. So what do you have? Uh, you have your phi dsw dt. Uh, this uh, U-total becomes your injection uh, velocity, which is constant. So the uh, DDX of FW times U-total, you can take the U-total in front, you get your inj U-injection, and your DFW DX. Well, FW depends on X only via SW. So you get the DFW DSW times general DSW DX. And then you also have the DDX of this other term, uh, so it's often brought to the other side, so you get the DDX of this term over here, but then with a plus sign. So that's the PDE 
governing your flow. Now you also have some boundary and initial conditions. That's in this case easy. Uh, your boundary condition uh, on the uh, one side, on the injection side, uh, you're injecting water. So your water saturation equals 1 minus SOR. Uh, and on the uh, uh, x equals infinity, so far away from the injection, you don't see uh, yet what you've injected. So your uh, saturation is equals SWC. And initially, uh, you are full of oil, so your water saturation equals uh, 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 should be uh, SWC over here. Uh, so there you have your boundary conditions, initial conditions, and your problem is fully specified. Once you specify D cup and FW uh, in terms of SW, and then you have your PDE, your initial boundary conditions, and you can. Uh, try to solve that in your, with your favorite method.